and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. We're going to talk about a host of issues in this final hour with Major General Albert Stubblebine and his wife, medical doctor Rama Labo. Your phone calls are coming up at the 20 after, so go ahead and line up. But call, I'm going to go ahead and clear the call board. Calls only for General Stubblebine and Dr. Labo, period. But it's a wide area to discuss, but we're going to spend our time, the valuable time we have with them, on this subject. We're going to talk about solutions in the next segment. We're going to talk about uh, COINTELPRO attacking myself. Dr. Lebo, General Stubblebine, and anybody else that's affected. So we're going to discuss that. That's the badge of honor. When you're over the target, you're getting the flag. And uh, the establishment admits the people are hurting them. I think they've overreached with this operation. But Dr. Lebo and General Stubblebine, uh, they are aiming these at women and children and, and people that are fertile. Just as the U.N., as you know, you can give people the name of the hormone. We're caught adding a synthetic hormone to tetanus shots to sterilize women. And that's the stated UN goal. I mean, they admit they're doing it to us in their own government policy books. We better listen to them. So speak to that and the numbers on cancer, the numbers on diabetes, the numbers on autism. I mean, they are killing us and they're incrementally turning up the ambient background on the soft kill and then institutionalizing all of our deaths and disease and just standardizing it where everybody gets cancer every year. Everybody has diabetes. Everybody's infertile. You know, 87 percent men's sperm count down. Infertility in women skyrocketing real fast. Buzz through the numbers for folks. Uh, Dr. Labo. The World Health Organization says in their public writings that they want to reduce the population by 90% and they have been using uh, infertility vaccines since 1974. In 1985, they said in a public document that they were using these infertility vaccines uh, disguised as smallpox vaccines. And by the way, the hormone is not a synthetic hormone. It's a natural hormone called human chorionic gonadotrophin, HCG, which they introduce into the vaccine. And then women make antibodies to their own hormones so they can never again carry a baby. Okay, doctor, um, my, my point was in the medical articles I read, and you can correct me, this was years ago, they pointed out that it had to be done by design because it had been simulated a natural hormone. I, under, I understand it's a natural hormone, but is that incorrect that they artificially made it? Well, they artificially introduced it. At the time that they began this, they didn't have the technology to clone it. Maybe they do now. But the point is that, it, that it's molecularly identical to the natural hormone, and then women make antibodies to it, so their body attacks their own pregnancies forever. Uh, that's one way of creating an immune uh, reaction. Another way is by putting in squalene, which in the presence of proteins with sugar on them and, and uh, bioreceptors and many, many, many hormones and so on are glycoproteins. In the presence of the glycoproteins, the immune system turns on the fertility uh, system and attacks it, and there will never again be a pregnancy or there will never be fertility if the person who receives this high squalene dose is a child. We're talking about ending the, the next generation. Um, I also want to remind listeners that we now know, as of today, that two scientists, one of them named Robert Webster and the other Richard Webby, are listed as patent holders for U.S. Patent Application 200 nine zero zero one oh nine six two for genetically engineered swine flu in influenza virus and uses thereof. Richard Webster, Robert Webster and 
Richard Webby are employed by the World Health Organization at their influenza laboratory. Now, if that doesn't say the whole thing, then I don't know what does. So we have squalene for infertility. We have squalene for profound uh, autoimmune disorders. We have the swine flu that will kill large numbers of people through the vaccination. And we have the pandemic um, international health regulations, which allow the... All right, stay there. we got to come back. We'll continue along that line with our guest. Hey, folks, this is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about Oxy Silver, the world's most advanced silver hydrosol that Dr. Horowitz says can make risky vaccines and antibiotics avoidable. You've heard Dr. Leonard Horowitz and others urge vaccination avoidance. Instead, use vitamin C, D, and Oxy Silver, along with Zeo Life for broad spectrum detoxification. Using NASA science, Oxy Silver is nano silver covalently bonded to water. Oxy Silver safely electrocutes pathogens, oxygenates for faster healing, then delivers a 528 hertz frequency homeopathic like energy the dr horowitz proves is fundamental to life and recovering health he also recommends zeo life for blood cleansing and gi flora pro as a probiotic for intestinal immunity help others and earn extra income become a healthy world affiliate free online to order oxy silver or to find out more visit oxysilver.net that's o-x-y silver.net or call about oxy silver zeo life and gi flora pro toll free at 1-888-KO-GERMS that's 1-888 KO Germs. Do it now. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator that produces pure drinking water right from the humidity in the air. No, this isn't science fiction. It's very real. I know because I use one every day in my own home, and it's available right now to you. Because you know exactly where your water comes from with Ecola Blue, you'll know what's in your cup. Clean, great-tasting water without all the pollutants. Get your family off the grid today by ordering your own Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator for your home or business. Their best seller, the Ecola Blue 28, produces up to 7 gallons of water water every day. The Ecola Blue 28 is easy to use and economical. Generate your own pure water from the humidity in the air. This system is free of chemicals and uses a multi-stage filtration system including reverse osmosis, carbon filters, and ultraviolet lights. Order now and claim your water independence today by calling Ecola Blue at 1-800-691-6043. That's 1-800-691-6043. Or visit Ecola Blue on the web at www.ecolablue.com today. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Major General Stubblebine and Dr. Rima Labo are our guests. Your call's coming up at 1-800-259-9231. Doctor, I want you to be able to finish what you were just getting into with the squalene alone. And, of course, a lot of other top scientists are saying this this virus was clearly manufactured. But addressing General Stubblebine for a moment, sir, obviously it takes high moral character and strength to be able to read these government documents where they admit they're putting poison in our water in the vaccines, when they admit they've designed GMO foods to hurt fertility or sterilize us, to admit that we have this group of eugenicists running things, then a lot of foolish yuppies and people that think they're members of the establishment will say, so what, there are too many people, not realizing it's aimed at them as well. I would like you to speak to the nature of the type of mindset that we're facing with our enemy, the character of our enemy, and I'd like you to speak to our military and police who are really starting to wake up right now about their... 